which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the... Now the finish! So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, I, I think it has to be Rodrigo Bentancur, Peter. I think when, when you look at that midfield, he can have a critical role in terms of developing his game and adding goals to those midfield runs. He hasn't done that enough so far, but that's what he, he needs to add. And he'll keep making those runs and, and get into the opposition box undetected. He has to now start finishing them off better. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. He's picked his way through. Uh, that's been intercepted. Bit of a communication breakdown there, it seems. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Uh, that was just poor decision-making. And here's a chance. Cleared away. Order. There first. And that has been knocked clear. And now a sudden chance to counter. Odegaard. Drops on Hillman! It's run loose. And number two then. Up for a header! Certainly could have and should have made more of that. And that interception was most necessary. Strong running down that left flank. There's a sharp little ball here. Well, the defence just about came out on top, but they were certainly tested. Gabriel. Rice. Bentancur. Bentancur! Oh, the ball's run loose here. There will be one minute at a time. Hit into the middle. Great lead! Well, he's... And there's the end of the first half. <laughs> And we are up to the break. Porto really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half, and while they'll be disappointed not to have broken through, obviously, the chances will come, provided they can keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives, I feel. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. And the game has already resumed here. Porto playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. No outsmarting him this time. Semedo gets rid without sophistication. Oh, we're still waiting for a goal to report here. Nicely waits. Tries a shot! Well, his movement is all based on fine margins and the timing of his run. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Or well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. This is the time you need that pace. And that's a superb pass. Shut up!
been looking for. So that's two now without reply. And things are much healthier in their favour. Mind you, you would have thought that when the last one went in. Oh, easy pickings there. There to get rid. And he's only too happy to take that back. Just a quarter of an hour to play. And here's Son Hyung Min. Long ball looking to counter. Moved on forwards, Odegaard. Now it's Son Hyung Min. Now it's Vinicius Junior. Defending of the desperate variety. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. And it's Son Hyung Min. Two added minutes has been indicated. Well, they could break here. And that will be the final act. And you can hear the analysis starting already. The intricate details and nuances being debated. And they will be for several days. But only one thing matters for now. They lost it.